June, and we mentioned earlier the weather shaping up nicely for the weekend, but what's going on this weekend? Well, we need to find out what we can do this weekend. Jackie. We're glad to see your interns are working over there. They, they posted a blog that Jason and I are very appreciative of. A whole list of uh, breweries and uh, uh, bars and wineries along the bike trail. Bike trail. And those very are very fitting. convenient. Yeah, things yeah. you can see on Catch Des Moines. Did you guys know that it was officially Des Moines Beer Week this week? Kicked off last Sunday at You're 1 o'clock. You're just now telling us? Well, I may have plugged it last week. I, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, you kicked um, it off last week. Yeah, I did. About, 1 yeah. o'clock at the El Bait Shop and all week long beer week. And we'll talk about more beer festivals and what have you as we go. But um, first I and think foremost. Jason just went to get one. Oh, we're going to. Just to be in the mood. Happened to, happen to have beer. It says it's just happen to have one beer hand. week. <laughs> it's allowed, apparently. It's a 16 ouncer. Yeah. Did you get that silo. over we at the, uh, the principal park? That's or what? Wisconsin Kool Aid. You're yeah. fine. Okay. There you go. Well, you can kick things off, folks, with a nice family weekend up in Johnston. Johnston Green Days. Great mm -hmm. annual event. Um, just take Merle Hay Road North and end up at the Johnston Public Library up there. Lots of fun activities, parades, carnival rides for the kids, children activities, beverage garden, rib tasting, Bill Riley talent search stage, a 5K run, My on goodness. and on. Things kick, up, uh, kick off up in Johnston today at 5, and they run all weekend long through Sunday, so check that out. The Bacon Ride for the Cured mm -hmm. is uh, also this weekend. Another really fun event. Um, you can come get a second helping of the Bacon Ride. Um, fun starts actually Friday night at 5 o'clock out in Waukee. And then the actual bike ride will take place uh, starting at 6 a.m. Saturday morning. We'll go all day. You'll end up in Perry. And as they write here, uh, make sure to give Perry a squeal or salute as you stop by some great bars. Um, and you can end up at the Hotel Patti because there ain't no party like a Perry Dice party. There you go. How you like that, huh? Boom, boom. So uh, that should, that's always a fun event as well. And Jason bring, Parkin uh, was saying uh, make sure you bring lots of water and stay hydrated water. that day because it's going to be, gonna be hot. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. It's a camelback. Um, NASCAR racing back in central Iowa this weekend. The Camping World Truck Series. Um, all that fun starts Friday night um, at the, the Iowa Speedway in Newton. Gates open actually Friday morning at 9. There's final practice at 10 a.m. on Friday, qualifying at 445. All at the Iowa Speedway. It'll be a concert Friday night after the race. Oh, nice. And then, of course, everything repeats on Saturday. Truck Series is going to be there. The guy who was just here about a week or so ago playing golf at the Principal Charity Classic. Two-time champion Matt Crafton will be uh, going for another win at the Iowa Speedway, so we're yeah. looking forward to that. So we'll see uh, what happens there tomorrow. Are you going out there at all? I will be there bright and early in the morning tomorrow. Tomorrow? I'm up in the booth now. Oh, so are you? I'll be up there. You'll be able to hear me all over the place there. So Tomorrow? Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Oh, so you're not coming in here? You're going to go there? I'm going there. I'll be there. By the time you guys get here, I'll be over there. So wow. I'll be here. He it, forgot it, to tell you. He won't be here tomorrow. Wow. Wow. It never happens. <laughs> and then I'm working, of all and things. Then you're working. Then yeah, I'm yeah. working, but uh, all weekend long, wow. you're, uh, over the speakers, you'll hear my Good obnoxious for you. voice. So I'll be, I'll be cool. doing that. So that'll be cool. So, so the truck race is tomorrow, and then uh, the Silver Crown is on Saturday. Truck race is at 7-ish on Friday, and then the other race on Saturday is like 2 in the afternoon, so it's an early early day there. Okay, oh, good. Good. Good, good for you. Done. So you will be the new voice of the Iowa Speedway? Well, there's two people. There's two people. I'm one of the two. New voices of the mm -hmm. Iowa Speedway. That's great. Okay. Congratulations. Um, Iowa Craft Brew Festival. We were just talking about brew here. Um, that is Saturday from 1 to 5 on the Court Avenue Bridge. Um, tickets start at $30. There's over 30, excuse me, 40 Iowa breweries that will be featured along with a host of regional and national craft breweries from all over the place. Um, it's a great annual event. Check it out. Music, great food, fabulous beers, um, special seminars, education seminars on brewing beer and all that good stuff. Very so nice. check that out Saturday afternoon. That's a small glass. The Smashing Pumpkins are in town hey, Saturday hey. night, Hoyt Sherman Place. Eight o'clock, tickets still available starting at 45.50, excuse me, 45.50. And uh, great concert. There's a little shot of the Smashing Pumpkins, great band. Um, the biggie of the whole next week, the National Junior High School Rodeo mm. Finals Championships are in town. If you recall, guys, we hosted this last right? year, first yeah. time. 1,100 kids, all junior high age and younger, doing all the rodeo events from 
um, goat roping to barrel riding. Um, all so of these are the real goat ropers. These are yeah, the real yeah, goat yeah. ropers, and okay. these are great young kids mm -hmm. coming in from all over the country, um, and actually outside the country as well. Last year we had some people from Australia also attending this. So check that out. You can buy an all-week pass for $100, um, or you can buy just day session passes for only 10 bucks. So get out to the fairgrounds and help support the National Junior High Finals. They're actually getting things set up uh, early. They're it, it not, not going to wait till Sunday. They're going to get things started, uh, getting set up uh, real early. We're not even running tomorrow night at the fairground. I didn't think you were, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the reason why. Really? Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, thanks for taking the night off to accommodate these kids. <laughs> um, yoga in the park at Gray's Lake. We've yeah. talked about this before. It's every Saturday morning at Gray's Lake. You can take your yoga mat out and do some stretching and yoga moves and uh, make sure you wear comfortable clothes and show up ready to relax and do some yoga. I honestly want to do that sometime. I do too. We well, should go do it. Why don't you guys do that? I'll come out and take pictures of you. <laughs> <I'm glad> you <laughs> say you'll come out and join them. <laughs> my, my body, I think I'm too structurally short to do some of those moves. Too vertically challenged? Yeah. Okay. I, I think. Wow. Well, that, that's my excuse. Anyway. I would be in the back row of that, I think. Just like in college. You'd look good, though, in a tight little yoga outfit. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> um, lots of sports going on this weekend. Of course, Prairie Meadows horse racing continues out at Prairie Meadows. Um, Knoxville is going to run Saturday night at 645, which... Is it, Jason? Oh, he's gritting his teeth. Oh, they might get a little... Just don't pull the fog thing like last week, okay? Boy, that was something Isn't else. That weird? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, the Barnstormers are in town for their final game Saturday night, final home game of the season. And Jackie's going to be there, yes? And yes. The, yes. Okay. You sang in the Star Spangled Banner? I did that last week, our last uh, game, home game. So okay. I'll just be running around doing my usual promotions and stuff. Craziness. Yes. Good, good for you. And the Des Moines Roosters are in, are in town. Do you guys know who the Des Moines Roosters are? Yes. Who are they? Australian Rose Football. Oh, rugby. you're good. Is that it? Yeah, Australian rules football, okay. which would be like rugby, kind of, or more yeah. like soccer. Remember when ESPN started and that's all they had, and they had, you know, when they score, and the guy with the white top hat comes on, and he just goes, "Yeah, it's fun to watch." <laughs> he it's, it's, he it's just goes, "Yeah, like that. yeah. Oh, it's yeah, pretty that violent. Guy. It's fun yeah. to watch." Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Don't yeah, you? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so, lots of fun stuff to catch in Des Moines. Okay, and for more details on uh, all these things and many more, what do you do? Go to our website, catchdesmoines.com, and you can find out everything there is to do. Perfect. All right, 651. We'll be right back. You're watching Great Day Live on KCW.